Hello again, this is uh, the Sports Betting Whale on Sunday, March 19th, 2017. I um, want to go over what happened yesterday. We had um, some uh, real close ones on, on the round robins. It looked very, very promising. Looked like we were going to get off to a, a great start and, and continue to roll forward. The um, ball did not bounce in our direction to uh, allow the streak to, streak to hit. Uh, in fact, uh, it was kind of a bad day for the handicapping world in general. My uh, brother follows, uh, I don't pay attention to what other people pick, but my brother always checks afterwards to see how um, other handicapping services are doing. And he didn't find one yesterday that was positive, more, unless they just took one game. Anybody who took multiple games yesterday lost, which means that the smartest handicappers around were, were expecting certain outcomes and they didn't occur. Here's the difference between what we do here with the round robin system and the uh, grind system with these straight ups. There were some people yesterday that went <clears throat> 0 for 6 or 2 wins, 7 losses. That was kind of typical. A lot, of, a lot of people were on the wrong side of the games yesterday. We, we had a fighting chance. We were, we were on the right side of most of them. Didn't, um, didn't have fortunate luck with us down the stretch, but um, that's okay. That old stuff will even out. I was telling the champ system that if things go back to f even out to 50-50 on the close games, I've got to go on a run of hitting about 90% of them for a while. But I tell you what, I'll take a trade right now. <clears throat> I'll take the, uh, all the close losses that we had. Just If they'll even out 50-50 going forward, we'll win a lot of money and I'll win a lot of money. Today we have uh, seven round robins. I took a few round robins uh, this morning. For those that are on the email system, you'll see them on the screen right now. I continue to put my money where my mouth is, and I'm not a fan of losing money, that's for sure. With the round robin system, let's, let's compare what happens during a, a bad day versus a, a good day. Um, with our system versus the straight up system, I know we're getting some emails in about how these cold streaks are um, where we're not hitting the combinations are really hurting. Well, they're hurting me too because you're you're seeing it. And I've I've gone through some spells where where I've lost the um, this round robin pool, you know, three, four, five, six times, and then won it back times ten or times twenty in in a one week period. You take the people who who are giving out picks yesterday straight up, and if people were taking ten percent of their bankroll on the straight ups, and they went zero for six. They'd be down uh, 66 units. If they went two and seven, they'd be down, you know, 50, 54 units. Whatever. It, it's been, it's a, it's rough when you lose. But the difference is that, let's say that uh, someone else on a straight up system goes on a hot run, and they hit, they hit nine out of ten. Okay, that's uh, uh, plus uh, 7.9 units. That w that would make up if they hit 9 out of 10 straight bets, which is not easy, if they did that, they would make up for what they lost on the, on the bad day yesterday off a lot of the people that were given the picks. Now, me, if I go on a 9 out of 10, we'll see a huge multiplier effect. And I do go on, on 9 out of 10 runs all the time. I go in 19 to 20, 29 to 30, especially in baseball. It's much easier in baseball when you're not dealing with these these odds that um, lots of times these games are coming right down to the wire on us. So it doesn't occur. You win, you win in baseball. So right now my goal is to get everyone back, uh, get myself back ahead from the baseball, uh, basketball season going into baseball. Uh, but sure looking forward to baseball because that's, that's a season that's much more um, reliable. And yes, you do have some bad beats at the end, but it's, it's not like basketball where you've got a clear winner and, and you end up losing with a couple three-pointers at the end. Generally in baseball, if you've, got a, if you've got a good bullpen, you have a good closer, you rarely lose once you're headed down the stretch. So some of the questions today, and I won't get into uh, all the specifics, but the tones are that, that it's high risk and that people are, are not uh, stomaching the loss as well. Well, okay, 
agreed. It's not fun. It's not fun for me either. But keep in mind what I've been saying over and over and over. Your round robin pool is a smaller pool than your straight up pool. And it's a pool that if you can replenish it, you might replenish it three, four, five times before we hit a streak. Um, if you can't replenish it, you're only taking one fifth of that lower round robin pool and dividing it into five pools. So let's take an example. You have $1,000. You can't replenish it. So your, your round robin pool is $200. I'm recommending that you take 2% on each parlay for a total 8%. So you've got $1,000, your round robins are $16. If you can't replenish it, they're $16. If you can, they're $80. So the amount we're, we're uh, recommending that you take on these round robins are an, an incredibly small percentage of what you have available. You could go and, and lose uh, two, three, four times uh, whatever, the, or whatever you started with and you see how fast in a multiply. I mean, we can be up 100, 200 units in one day easily. Once we get on a streak, then you'll be in a position to replenish anything you've put in, bank it with a profit, and be on house money going forward. So for those that like the more consistent ride, um, then you know the round robin system isn't for you. I've been saying all along, it's not for the fate of heart. It's for people who want to take a shot a realistic shot because it always works for me and it's worked for me for 25 years. It's not a lottery ticket. It's, it's, an, it's absolutely a high probability that you're going to turn a small amount of money into a large amount of money. I do it all the time and I continue to do it. Some people are asking, well, have the sports books gotten smarter because it seems like the system isn't working as well as it used to. Well, I've been doing it um, in the last year and I'm substantially up in the last year. So if I saw that, that what's been happening recently was more of a, a trend instead of what I think is an anomaly, I would tell everybody and I would uh, regroup. But I don't believe that's the case and going into the baseball season, you'll see some fantastic returns going forward. Uh, one of the questions was, what kind of angles do you look for when handicapping baseball? I have a lot of angles I look for. Obviously, pitching is very important. Obviously, the bullpen and the relief pitching is very important. How the teams are hitting up and down the lineup is incredibly important. Teams go on streaks, cold streaks, and hot streaks on their hitting. And so you have to keep a real close eye on what's going on there. Uh, the champ system and, and the whale uh, share a, a very uh, fond appreciation for the revenge system too. When a team has been swept and then they play again, the odds of of a back-to-back -back sweeps are ex extremely unlikely. Other, other factors, um, better home teams rarely get swept at home against a lesser opponent. That's something that you'll see year after year after year. But what I do too is I lock into how the teams are doing from a hitting perspective on the road and a hitting perspective on, at, at home and how the pitching staff's doing and how the bullpen, I come up with a complete uh, number system on the odds of um, a team scoring X number of runs and how many I expect them to give up in the first five innings and for nine innings. And then I compare it to what the odds are. And based on that, I know whether I've got a solid uh, percentage advantage or not. So you'll see all that kick in over the baseball season. It's going to be uh, a, lot of, a lot of fun. All right, so today we have a, a total of seven round robins that I'd like, I'm recommending that you get in on. Um, some of them, three of them are groups of first halves and for the games. So the first round robin is 706 Pistons, then 708 Miami, 712 New Orleans. 706 Pistons, 708 Miami, 712 New Orleans. Also, you're taking them for the first half. 1706 Pistons, 1708 Miami, 1712 New Orleans. In college, we're going to take 720 Duke, 718 North Carolina, and 728 Kansas. That's Duke, North Carolina, and Kansas. Also first half, Duke, North Carolina, and Kansas, first half, separate round robins. And um, continuing on with, with college, we're going to go with Rhode Island, Iowa, and Kentucky. 729 Rhode Island, 736 Iowa, 724 Kentucky. Also for the first half, 17... 1729 Rhode Island, 1736 Iowa, 1724 Kentucky.
this next round robin and the last one is, is strictly um, for the game, no half times. And it takes 731 under on Cincinnati, 709 under on the Pacers, and 733 over on Oakland. That's 731 under on Cincinnati, 709 under on Pacers, and 733 over on Oakland. Okay, well, let's get them in. Remember what you're doing here. You're taking 2% per parlay, 8% per group. The total um, on this one, it will be 56, 56 units will be in play here and that's of your round robin risk pool. Okay, if you, have, uh, if you can replenish it, then it's 56% of the existing pool. If you can't, then you're dividing what you have by five and you're taking 56% of 20%, which in that case would be 11.2% of your uh, total over uh, seven round robins. So you can see it's not a very risk taking system as far as the amounts you put in compared to what you have available. Uh, we progress once we get hot and we blow the um, doors off when we get on a streak. So that's how the system works. Please use it from a money management perspective. It really protects you during the, during the down times and will maximize things during the up times. Okay, hope we have a winning day for all our sakes and look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Going forward, I'll continue to release all of my daily picks to you for free if you text me or subscribe to my mailing list. So make sure to text me or subscribe to my free mailing list so I can continue sending you all of my picks every day. I've made tens of millions of dollars betting on sports over the years and now I'm finally breaking my secret so that you too can share in my success. All you have to do is either click on the link in the description of this video or send me a text message to my phone number at 702-462-1135. If you're texting me from outside the United States, add the plus one, so it's plus one, 702-462-1135. I will begin texting and emailing you with all of my daily picks whenever they come up. Remember, subscribing to my mailing list is 100% free, no strings attached. And every day that you're not a subscriber to my free mailing list is another day that you may have missed out on one of my devastating winning runs. So be sure to click on the link in the description of this video or send me a text at 702-462-1135 or if you're outside of the United States, plus one 702-462-1135 to join my mailing list today, 100% free. And you'll be the first to know when I release my killer picks every single day. Again, 100% free.